You know, reducing our CO2 emissions and making our transport systems cleaner, in other words, tackling climate change, is one of the biggest challenges that we face. So let's do something about it now. Come with us to the future of public transport and the Ticket to Kyoto project. Five European operators have decided to take the transport initiative and reduce their energy consumption. Ticket to Kyoto is about the strong, shared desire of people who are committed to energy reduction and working together to innovate and advance. But how can we apply the brakes to our consumption of energy? Well, that's the whole idea. Brakes. When a vehicle brakes, its energy is usually lost as heat. Fortunately, we have high-performance trams and metros that can recover that mechanical energy and transform it into electricity. It can then be transferred to another vehicle that's accelerating. I mean, just think that every time your metro brakes, 35% of that energy is recovered. Ticket to Kyoto takes this innovation even further. The energy can be stored or directly used in stations and depots. This allows us to further reduce our energy consumption. Altogether, the energy recovered in this way by STIB in Brussels is the equivalent to the energy production of 23,000 households if they were to install photovoltaic panels on their roofs. In Bielefeld, the energy recovered by Mobile is the same as the annual energy consumption of 4 million smartphones, whereas in Rotterdam, the energy recovered by RET equals the annual consumption of 1.5 million energy-saving light bulbs. With a project like this on track, public transport can confirm its lead in the sustainable transport sector. Ticket to Kyoto has put innovation at the heart of its approach to tackling the challenge of climate change with you.